Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Ten More Podcast. You fell for the oldest book and the trick. Because you wanted to listen to more Tintin. It sounds like we're not happy to see you, but we are. Um, yeah. Uh, and we are reading... We are reading... No, no, no. We are reading... Um, wait, what was it called again? Introduce this, though. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> no introduction for you! <laughs> Er- everyone knows wh- who you are. We don't have to do it again. It's like the fourth time. <laughs> it's episode four. Keep this in, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We are reading. Um, in my version, it's called the uh, Mr. Farrow Cigars. Um, uh, uh, because I'm in such a. English, it- in English, it's Cigars of the Fair, which isn't much different. But that's wrong. Okay. <laughs> Patriotic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I'm joined by joined joined by the same <laughs> two people, Mr. Milkai. Hello. That's me. A lot. Uh, very, very monotone. Not very fitting for the introduction. But that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and Mecca. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. G- gamers, uh, whatever. We can't have an episode without say without me saying gamers. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> yep. Okay. So we are reading um uh, uh uh someone who died because they smoked too much, and it seems. It's a book that I like because this is probably the first book I ever got. Page mm. one. Roll the introduction. <laughs> we should have. We, we don't have an introduction. Yeah, I thought we already did the introduction. Bad podcast. Bad. Mm. Okay. Uh. Uh, welcome to the Cigars of the Pharaoh. That's the proper name, by the way. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, does someone want to start off? I can start. Okay. We... <laughs> None of us, like, said, Mega, you were like, yeah, I can start if you want to. <laughs> My job is to break the awkward silence. You're not very good at your job, we <laughs> we we heard about that the last episode. Um, uh, like and subscribe, <laughs> gamers. <laughs> I'll try to do my job better. <laughs> okay. This time. Now again, <laughs> we'll we we'll, uh, call back. We are, this is going to be so boring again. Just kidding, it's not. <laughs> um, we have a random um, uh, surprise at at fifty one thirty nine. That's a that's a random surprise. Don't put anything in. <laughs> Talking about anyway, so. Okay. Oh, you meant the timestamp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what would it else be? <laughs> I thought you were talking about the time for some reason. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like the time. Fifty-two. Fifty-one thirty-nine. Yes. Oh, it's well, it's twenty minutes past thirty eight. <laughs> sometimes people go by military time, so I was like, okay, well, I just thought you were going by military time. <laughs> well, I won't. Okay. Start. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So welcome back to the cinema podcast. We're reading um the Ferraris cigarettes. That's not racist. Um. Yeah. Now you can start. Thank you, Koso. No problem. This is a a great episode so far. Yeah. Okay. So it opens up, and you see this cruise ship, and then you see Tintin looking out at the ocean, and he's like, man, Snowy, it's great. We get to take a quiet vacation after all that that crap that just went down with the gangsters and stuff. And Snowy's like, yeah, it's it's great, but, like, it's really boring. And Tintin is basically just um, outlining their plan and stuff. 
And also, for some reason, Snowy mentions Marlin Spike. Yeah. What? <sighs> says, I'd settle for Marlin Spike after Tintin's, like, explaining where they're gonna go and stuff. What a coincidence. I... I don't know what's up with I think, that. But... I think it's just a reference, like, even though it's before he, they met Haddock. Because it was, like, it was recolored in 1955. Not one of the ones that was recolored, because this one was originally uh, published in color. So. Um, Wait, are you reading the, that's, uh, the one that's not in color? No. Mine's in color. Mine doesn't have that. The Marlin Spike thing? Yeah. Um. It must just be a translation thing, I guess. No, like, Snowbit uh, says for me... Uh, what are we going? Uh, what are we going to do on the ship? Uh, when are we arriving? Blah 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 blah. We're never arriving. Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, are you serious? This uh, ship is uh, sailing at a snail's pace, uh, and <laughs> nothing ever happens. Mm, that's weird. I don't know. It must just be an American or English thing. American. <laughs> yeah. Only Americans get to <laughs> Marlin's fight. Apparently. So, Tintin, he, like, is going on about, like, where they're gonna go and stuff. And he and he's like, isn't this a nice crew, Snowy? And Snowy's like, it's boring. And he says, like, he wishes someone would fall overboard to brighten things. Oh, and, God. And they... <laughs> Snowy's a great dog, isn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> So, Tintin, he hears, like, this guy yelling, stop, stop, and he's, like, calling for help and stuff. Tintin, he's like, hey, can you save my paper? It's blowing away. He says, it's my kiosk papyrus. Oh, oh, my gosh. He says, it's my kiosk papyrus. That's a tongue twister. And so Tintin's like, oh, I'll get it for you. And him and Snowy, like, run after it. Running after it, the guy's still behind him, like, screaming, like, for help and whatever. And there's this crewman, he hears this, and then he sees Tintin, and assumes that Tintin's just up to something, so he tries to stop him. And Tintin, like, hi, and the two, like, fall over. Because of this, the paper, like, blows away, and Tintin's like, do you see what you've done? Now that guy lost his paper. <laughs> oh, poor <laughs> man, he lost his paper. <laughs> A man without his paper ain't much. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Oh, oh, how dare know. you? That guy lost his paper. <laughs> yeah. Tintin looks like he's lecturing the guy, like, how dare you try to help somebody? Yeah. And, like, in every, like, single other book, like, the, um, the, like, ship people, they're, like, super, like, tough and angry. He's, like, oh, oh, holding, yeah. holding, like, on his belly. Yeah, because Tintin ran into his stomach. He almost basically headbutted this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Tintin's just short and he can't help it. <laughs> short shaming. Uh, okay, so then he, like, Tintin turns around and he's like, oh, the guy's disappeared, that's strange. And so they, like, walk around the ship looking for him. Like, sitting in a rowboat, and he's, like, rowing, and Tintin's, like, rowing. And the guy's like, I'm rowing, isn't that obvious? And Tintin points out the fact that he's not in water. And he's like, great observation. And Observation 100. <laughs> mm. So the guy's like, I wonder why I was rowing. And Tintin's like, oh, it was because your papyrus blew overboard or whatever. And the guy's like, uh, I have it right here. And he pulls it out of his coat pocket or his hat or whatever. And Tintin's like, what about the paper that blew into the sea? And he's like, oh, that was just a travel brochure. And then he, like, papyrus, and it's the key to the lost tomb of the pharaoh kiosk. And uh, he's like, oh, a lot of people have tried to go there, but they never come back. And and he introduces himself as Sophocles Sarcophagus. Great name. <laughs> For me, right, he's that? called Philemon Cis... Cislon. 
I'm going to call We... him F Philemon. Hopefully Phil. we won't get a... Yeah, Phil. Yeah, let's just call him <laughs> Phil. Phil, that's a good name. <laughs> or Rick. Yeah, so Phil is... Phil is showing Tintin the papyrus, and Tintin's like, oh, what's that weird symbol and stuff? And Phil's like, I don't know, I think it's the cipher of Kiosk, and he invites Tintin to join him in the port and says, like, hey, we'll go to Cairo and find the place on the papyrus together. And Tintin's like, oh, that sounds like a great idea. And so they part ways to a pipe and goes, oh, I beg your pardon, Captain. And actually bumps into a person and he's like, oh, sorry, I thought you were a ventilator. And surprise, surprise, it's... A, a new foe is appearing. Who's that? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, so Tintin uh, goes up to... Wait, no, say who it is. It's Rastapopolis. Yeah, oh. from um, the last book. Um, like and subscribe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Rastapopolis is like yelling at Phil because he like ran into him and stuff. And Tintin goes up and it's like, Hey, would you knock it off? This guy didn't bump into you on purpose. Feels like in the background wandering away. <laughs> and so <laughs> Rastapopolis is like yelling at Tintin. He goes, Impudent young whippersnapper, how dare you? And he's like, Obviously, you don't know who I am. Produces himself as Rastapopolis. Snowy's like, So what? Who cares? You should care, Snowy. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That guy's the film tycoon, he's the king of Cosmos Pictures, and then he mentions, like, hey, it's not the first time you've met Because America. <laughs> oh, that's called um, callback. Uh, li listen to the last episode where we actually meet uh, Rastapopoulos in briefly. Chicago. For, like, one panel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's not even, like, a star that's, you uh, that's usually there. So, <laughs> I'm doing my job well. Yep. That evening, that a little evening, bit delayed. Yeah. I had to wait until the silence is actually awkward until I can interview. So, that evening, this mysterious person is like writing a note and he's like, hey, you better watch out, Tintin. He's like a reporter and he's probably nosy and I want him disposed of and gone before we get to shore. Just walking around. He goes into his room and there's these two cops like behind him. And they're like, oh, well, he went into his room. Let's go. And so they knock. Right? And he's like, oh, yeah, of course. And they're like, we're here to arrest you. Like, are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> oh, wow. Interpol doing their best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's, just yeah. Their Did you say that, uh, that it's uh, Timson and Timson? Tim's? Tim and oh. Tom. Yep, Tim and but, Tom. Um, okay, open those drawers and we'll see what kind of joke this is. And there's like heroin in his drawer, and like in a box in his drawer, and they're like, someone tipped us. And that Tintin had heroin <laughs> in his drawer. Yeah. Time we meet Tim and Tom, which is what we'll be calling them for ease. Wait, this is not the first time. That was the first time we officially meet uh, Tim and Tom. No, it's not. We met them in uh, Land of the Soviets. We did? I don't remember. Yeah, in the first panel. They were like, wait, is it? No, it's in uh, Tintin Goes to uh, America. No, uh, Congo's, yeah. That was in the colored version, though. Wait, yeah. But, um, and the colored version, version is right! If you're reading the originals, then this is the first time you meet them. But if you're reading the colored versions, then this is the second time you see them. Or this is the first time they've really, like, come as characters. Instead of just, like, being in the background. Hmm. So... For reference, I do know they're Thompson and Thompson or whatever it is in the different languages, but we're saying Tim and Tom, so that's easier for everyone. Yeah. 
I actually have a theory that uh, in the, in the Danish version uh, they're called Dupont with T and with D. Mm. And I have a suspicion that the guy with T at the end is on the right side on of, of them. Mm. It's hard to tell. They're like twins or something. Yeah, but like <laughs> I could like see them because like there's only always like. Uh, one guy, the guy on the left, always says, um, like the uh, the um, correct, uh, like the right things, like the high high IQ in like things. Like also here, he's like he says like he's in his cabin. Um, uh, are you called Tintin? And yeah, but that's mm. just a theory. A film theory. Thanks for watching. Or listening. Okay, guys, bye. Because <laughs> <laughs> Tintin's still under arrest for drug possession. Yeah. He will now end up starving in prison. Yeah. 20 minutes podcast. The <laughs> fastest podcast ever. Yeah, okay. No, don't, don't, don't quit okay. away. It's not done yet. <laughs> Yeah, I think they'll know by the timestamp, though. But anyways, it's the next morning, and Tintin's like, I wonder who could have planted drugs in my cabin. Someone wanted him out of the way, but he doesn't know why. And he's, like, looking out the window, and he's like, man, I'm so close to land, and sees, like, this, uh, I think it's a fishing boat. It, yeah. like, drifts by down onto it, and he's like, hey, could you take us ashore? And so a few minutes later, they're in the, they're in, and he meets up with, um, Phil. Happy New Year when he sees him, it's, he's a little confused. For me, for me, he says, uh, good evening, miss. (laughs) Wow. Yep. We're just gonna brush past that. So, um... You see another letter that someone's written. It's like, Tintin got away from the police and him and Phil are already on shore and they're going to make for Cairo. So, have your orders, carry them out and stuff. So then, Tim and Tom are like on land in disguise looking for Tintin because they still think he's a drug smuggler. And it cuts to later, somewhere near Cairo. They're on donkeys. Yeah, and just and like, um, um, again... Uh, sorry for like interrupting you, but um, for me again, the left person if is the guy is the pond with D, and the right person is the guy with T. So mm-hmm. my so let's just call the guy on the right Tom because O <laughs> stands for not D. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Conspiracy theories. Yeah. So, <laughs> my English teacher actually once uh, um, like we had like a theme of like conspiracy theories and aliens, so she like put that on. <laughs> it was hilarious. For uh, one of the later episodes, you know. <laughs> but that's just the theory. We'll save that one for flight seven fourteen or whatever. Anyways, so it's like later, and they get to the spot where it was on the map, and he, like, hey, wait here, and we'll be back by evening. And the guy's like, yeah, sure. So they start like walking through the desert, and they like, he gets to the spot where the papyrus said it was, and he starts digging, and he finds like this building, building that's like sunk into the ground a little. And they're, like, digging it out. Snowy starts to bark, and Tintin's like, hey, what's up with that? And he goes over, and Snowy's found a cigar. And he picks it up, and on the band of the cigar is the same simple for kiosk. And yeah. Tintin's like, oh, and, I and on those, go. like, um, on the, like, uh, notes, uh, like, like, letters that we saw, the two, uh, the same symbol was on the, on them, too, at the end. Yeah, I forgot to mention that, but the yeah. letters have the symbol at the yeah. bottom. Just like the cigar, and just like, uh, just like 
fails a uh, map set. So Tintin goes, he's like, oh, I wonder what Phil will think of this. But he finds Phil's gone. And he's like, hey, that's really weird. Like the symbol from the band of the cigar on the building, too. And Tintin's like, hey, I wonder where he could have gone. Yeah, and just like uh, Phil left his hat, his black, his black like top hat on. But he brought his like, um, like a uh, rain, a roof. Umbrella. Umbrella. <laughs> rain roof. <laughs> that's what it is now. <laughs> yes, that's a be- better term. <laughs> Where did umbrella even come from? <laughs> yeah. Rain roof. That's a good question, Milky. <laughs> anyway. So T- Tintin's like yelling for the doctor and stuff, and like he gets no response. And he's like, man, that's so strange. And Tintin's like, Phil said earlier, like, didn't he say like tons of Egyptologists have tried to find the tomb and then like vanished and stuff? Like, starts barking again. And Tintin's like, hey, what's up? And they find that the symbol on the building like turns inward. It's like a door. And so Tintin's like, oh, that must be where he disappeared to, so let's follow him. The door shuts behind them. Yeah, and, and just, Tintin's like, I have oh, to oh. interrupt you again. But like on my picture, we only see like a hinge and nothing like a piston or hydraulic on like the door. I think it's just the way it swings is that he can't push it open from where he is. Yeah, but like something like opened it. But there's no hydraulic. It's just like bolts and a hinge. It might be that mm-hmm. Snowy opened it with his nose. Like he might have poked it open with his nose. Could be. So Sometimes too, like there's a door that doesn't close all the way in our house. And oh. so he, like, push his nose against it and open it, so. <laughs> That's so cute when dogs do that. No. Yeah. So they're, like, exploring the tomb because they have literally no other options. And he wanders in, and he eventually finds these, like, rows of sarcophaguses in them. And it's like, these must be the scholars who, like, violated the tomb of Kiosk and he finds a sarcophagus for Phil and him and Snowy. And he's like, nope, not me. <laughs> he's like, we got to get out of here fast. I like how the guy of the left of Phil's um, like, um, chamber, he, his like, head, he was so tall that his head, like <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the chamber was like so high, so they had to cut it open. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty funny. Yeah. So Tintin nopes out of there and eventually finds the doctor's umbrella, which is like, er, sorry, rain roof. <laughs> he finds the- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he finds the rain roof like hooked on the arm of one of the statues, and he keeps going and finds the he finds Phil's shirt cuffs and his tailcoat. Have to find him. He goes through like these giant doors that close behind him, and he's like, oh crap! And then he's like, we really are trapped now. He turns around and he's like, hey, what's that? It's uh, boxes. And he decides to have a look in them. Because he's a reporter. He's nosy. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, great snakes full of cigars. All with this strange symbol. Because they all have the symbol of kiosk on them. They're absolutely identical to the ones I picked up outside. And he's like comparing them. And he's like, I wonder if like the answer strange happening is like hidden in the cigars. And take a better look but then like smoke starts filling the room he's like oh what's happening my head that's some he's like oh it's some sort of drug and someone's trying to whatever and he passes out and like hallucinates meanwhile it's uh tim and tom and they're talking to the guide and the guide's like hey they told me to wait but they didn't come at nightfall and i called them and shouted, and they didn't answer. And so, it's the next night. Full on camels. And they go to, like, this shore. And they're like, hey, that's the rendezvous on the camels. 
uh, flashlight at the people on the boat. It's like a signal. The guys on the boat, they're like, oh, that's the caravan. Let's lower the boats. Boat to shore. And in the boat, they're like, hey, do you have the goods? And they're like, yeah. So the guys from the boat, they're like, hey, you might want to hurry because the boss is worried about the Coast Guard. And they load like these coffins, these sarcophaguses onto the boat. <laughs> Someone says like, this is like a weird sense of humor hiding it in a coffin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. But like, <laughs> they Someone has a great sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like half an hour later. They're putting everything and they're about to leave. And then, like, this light gets shined on them, and they're like, going, they're like, that's Alan's boat, that dirty smuggler. And it's, and Alan, he's like, oh crap, it's the Coast Guards, throw the boxes overboard, because they don't want to get caught with it on the boat. So they're like, the Coast Guard is leaving an hour later. Message from the boss, and it's like, um, the coffins were shipped by mistake. They contain prisoners and guard them strictly. So Ellen, <laughs> like, hmm, we might have made a mistake. <laughs> Whoopsies. So he's like, well, how can we find them now? And running because they can't see at night. And it's dawn. And Tintin wakes up. He's in one of the coffins. He like opens it. By the way. <laughs> Um, that guy, the sh- the the boss, he he, uh, like the coast guard called him Alan Thompson. Not spoiling Did anything. He really? Yeah, not spoiling anything, but he's an important. He's like an ongoing character in the series. In yes. My, in my version, it just says Alan. Oh. Same. There's so many Thompson in this series. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Depends on the version, but yeah. this is this is Alan's first appearance. By the yeah, way. but that's just Alan. Remember him. The... Yeah, he's an important plot point later. <laughs> plot twist: His <laughs> name is actually John. It's not. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Sees the uh, the the third coffin opening, and it's Phil. And they're like trying to like shout across the water to each other and whatever so Tintin's like you know what whatever and he ties Snowy's uh, coffin to his uh, makeshift fishing rod and they catch a shark Hmm. and it's unimportant or I guess it's not unimportant because now he knows the water's infested with sharks and he's like just starved to death then when you actually he's like oh Pass check when you accidentally catch a shark. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. But he's like, we'll either starve to death or drown. It's like stuff. You see the Alan, you see Alan's boat. Hey, there's a coffin, and they see Phil in the coffin, like waving to them, and they pick him up. Starts getting worse they have to break off the search for Tintin and Snowy. Because, you know, they're not that important to risk their lives for. <laughs> Think again. But, but, um, as soon as you get a reply to our message, bring it to me. He does get the message and it's like, you know what? If the storm prevents you from searching for Tintin, just just leave him. Let's go. And so they start, and they leave. Tintin and Snowy, and they're of course floating on the ocean in a coffin during a storm. Over them, and uh, Tintin's like, "We're finished, Snowy." And then he wakes up, and he's like. That was like a weird dream. <laughs> yeah, and it, I don't know if you said it, but like uh, Alan, it, he says he gets that note, and he's like, um, uh, the note says, "Quote, um, God, God, the uh, saved man, 
Uh, if yeah, blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, we'll meet again at uh, meeting at meeting point three. So meeting point three, and they'll set course to India. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Yeah, that's your job, Co. So <laughs> just to say, <laughs> wait a minute, you forgot something. Yeah. So Tintin wakes up on this like smaller boat, and he's like, "Where am I?" He he's like, "Oh, now I remember. We were hit by that wave." And then he doesn't know what happens next. And so he goes up to the top, and they're like, oh, good morning, young Sinbad, how are you? And he's like, but how in the world did I get here? Rude. Hmm? Rude. <laughs> so rude. Yeah. Rude. <laughs> the captain's like, oh, we just happened to be passing by, lucky for you. And Tintin's like, oh, thanks for saving my life, dude. And the guy's like, no, don't worry about it. Well, I really want to know why you were like a float on the ocean in a coffin, though. And Tintin's like, well, I wish I knew too. The captain just is like, okay, well. And he introduces Tintin to one of the other passengers. It's Senor Oliviera de... Uh, I, I probably said that wrong. Senor Ol. Olivia, 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 da, da, Fiku, Eyuira, da. We can call him Ollie for short. <laughs> yeah, Ollie. Ollie, Mr. Ollie. So Ollie's like, "Hey, what's up? Allow me to assist you. I have a lot of." I'm selling a lot of stuff, and he shows Tintin, like, a bunch of stuff. Just this random junk. And Tintin <laughs> wearing a bunch of just nonsense crap. And he's like, well, I'm glad I didn't fall for that. Whatever. I would have ended up with all sorts of useless junk. Also, like, uh, he, he, he sells, like, a sword. And as a bonus, you get a, a, a clock, a, a toothbrush... And a, and a pen! <laughs> if he... But if he... <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Great deal. <laughs> what <Yeah>. a deal. <laughs> what <But> a <it's>... steal! <laughs> <laughs> so they get to the Arabian coast and they like land and set up and stuff. And Ollie's like, oh, you can put my stuff over there. And Tintin's like, you're setting up shop? Nowhere? And he goes, you won't get a single customer. And Ollie's like, just you wait, I haven't started advertising yet. And so he pulls up like this horn system and he's like speaking into it. Stuff and everyone hears and they're like, that sounds like a great deal and stuff. So yeah. he gets like a ton well, of customers, he sells them. Like for me, they call him the white man that sells everything in one word. <laughs> oh. In mine they just say it's the solo supermarket. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so he's nice. like selling a bunch of stuff random crap and they're all like really happy with it and Ollie's like oh there you are Tintin that's how you do it and they hear this guy like shouting and they're like what the heck and this guy's like yelling at Tintin he says you sold me this cake and I ate it and now there's bubbles coming out my mouth and Tintin's like, that's a cake of soap. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and he's just, um, well, that's soap. <laughs> when you realize what you're eating is soap. <laughs> well, oh, like, he really looks like, he really looks like Haddock. Doesn't he? I guess, kind of. A little bit, yeah. On the next picture, Snowy looks so weird, like, ooh. Like, <laughs> like, ooh. Maybe Snowy yeah. was eating the cake of soap, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Should I take over here? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, go ahead, Kosso. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, the the man that ate the, ate the cake soap, 
He's like, you will hear from my my master, Sheikh P. Trash Pasha. At first, I th- I thought his name was like Trash Pasha, <laughs> but I think it's, it's pronounced. I think it's pronounced Sheikh. Sheikh, whatever. Sure. Danish yeah. boy, not here to teach you English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's like, um, uh, we we will um. We will uh, punish you when it's like new moon. Yeah. So Tintin he like proceeds next day to walk into um a the desert. I don't know why he would do that. Uh, but we see like this. <laughs> what? He doesn't really have anywhere else to go, does he? True. Uh, so there's like some people that are going to like um, catch him like wow, uh, and like go with him on like a uh, um. Take them by take him by horse, and he's like, Salam I yep. So another guy, he's like, Salam al alikum, eh, I'll make a eh, eh, good man. Eh, we have caught a prisoner of something, and he's like, <laughs> um, You you try to fool and made fun of my my clan members. You will pay, um. We will pay by death. And he's like, what is your name? <laughs> My name is Tintin. <laughs> uh, and he's like, oh, Tintin, is that you? Uh, Allah has been uh, happy at us. Uh, I love your book, um, uh, Tintin in Congo. Wow, I loved it. It was so great. And Tintin's like, what? Actually, in my version, this guy brings in this book. Yeah, and it's- the- yeah, there's like a guy that brings it in, in the book. Yeah. One of the later comics that he brings in, it's like... I know. Continuity errors. Wait, can you say I that know. again? Tintin's a time, time traveler. Apparently, because like this... <laughs> I think it might have just been like the version I'm reading. It's probably a reprint or whatever, and they put that in there. Yeah, just for fun. Mm-hmm. Or for, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, it's one of the like later comics that they bring in. Yeah. Um Yeah, so uh, that uh, the um the guy that's brought in the book, he was like, "Oh, uh, goodbye, a uh, good friend Tintin." The uh, some hours later, he's like, "Goodbye. Um best of luck on your um, on your way." So he rides on and but up cop 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 cop. Rides on his horse <laughs> and <laughs> role play. And he, uh, he's, uh, but he has like he sees a city, city, and but a woman <laughs> shouting, "Oh, show mercy, show mercy!" Ah, and it's a lady voice, and two people are like, um, torturing this lady lying on the ground, and he's like, uh, "Get away, you fools!" And, the, and so he's like, "Oh, Mrs. Lady, uh, uh, I am sorry that I." They, they, no problem for saving your life. But a guy mm. with the camera, he's like in the background. Oh, not in the background. Next picture, he's like, Oh, you stupid uh, uh, whippersnapper. You destroyed everything. Uh, and another, like the main character, he's like, Ah, oh, you destroyed everything. Uh, and since it's like, oh, What have I done? Uh, and the film producer, he's like, I'll call the boss. And... Guess who? It's Rastapropolis! Again! Shock! Yeah! And he like, uh, blah 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 blah. Get in my tent, and I'll tell you, um... uh, And I'll tell you everything I know. Um... Mm -hmm. But I have to go now, uh, because the ship, uh... I'll have to go now because of my ship. The captain is like, um, he has to go now. Mm. So... Yeah. Okay, so he was, he was just like okay, kidnapped and set three. Like okay. So we now we see um Thompson no Timson and Thompson. Yeah, on the boat and, and they have like um we've gotten new orders and it's like um uh ignore or like what's that word? Not You're think- supposed to forget about Tintin. Yeah, yeah, for, forget about Tintin. And um, and uh, shutting down the uh, weapon 
um, weapon smuggling in the Arabic uh, area. So then he mm. like takes a boat and he uh, rows out to the ship, and <laughs> and nobody's on board. Snowy sees a cat, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Snowy runs down into the um, lower deck and he knocks his head on something on the blanket. Then Tintin sees, oh no, it's like Lewis machine guns. Oh no. <laughs> And a bunch of um, uh, uh, rain roofs. <laughs> <laughs> so many rain roofs. Um, and there is a down uh, symbol, so that shows that they are not supposed to be held. Uh, they can't support their own weight. And there's like ammunition and uh, a lot of weapons. But then. Are you are you finding something interesting? And the captain's like, "Oh, you um, uh, I didn't think you were a policeman." Uh, but but, oops, yep, Tin is like, but but, uh, another like um, guy is like, "Captain, you you come danger." So uh, he ties him up. He ties Tintin up, and he's like, "Ah, uh, bum bum." <laughs> <laughs> but Snowy answers Tintin is like, well, yeah, you're free. Uh, but a big, like, explosion? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, a big explosion. So Tintin is like, oh, what do I do? I can hear footsteps. And he sees Thompson, Timson and Thompson again on the ship. <laughs> it's a it, uh, small world, Mr. Tintin. The cocaine... Um, Smuggler and weapon smuggler, and fleeing from the, the government. You're in serious consequences now, Mrs. Mrs. Tintin. They he she they didn't call him Tim Tintin, Mrs. Tintin. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even speak. <laughs> so he shoots the light. Blah, 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 blah. There's a big fight, but they real when the lights come on again. Uh, Tom. Tom Timson and Thompson realize they they were fighting each other again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they search the uh, uh the um storage deck and they hear like blop 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 jump scare. <laughs> it's Tintin, he's been hiding in like a big barrel of water and he <laughs> who's like po- Pokemon attack <laughs> and splitches water in the head in Timson and Thompson's head. Uh, so they can't see anything, and they look so dumb. Yeah. So he flees out in the water, and like saved, but his foot uh, gets tangled in some ropes, and for how somehow, he gets uh, all um, tangled in the. Uh... So yeah, so Timson, Timson and Thompson, get him up. Uh, no, probably not here. It's yeah, Tim's yeah. Thompson talks again. Wait. Wait. We're waiting. Okay, so it's 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 the guy on the left. So it's Timson that always is. Wait. I'll just go on. We'll talk about this later. Uh, so they like Timson and Thompson like drag him up, and like he's like looks like a very uncomfortable way to be pulled up, like from the ankle. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And getting like water Oof. in his nose. Ooh. Um <laughs> Oh man. So Snowy like runs down and uh Thompson is uh, like runs after it. Uh, in the name of the law, stop you are under arrest, Snowy. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like uh, uh Thompson is like uh uh, 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 uh uh, the ship is going to explode. What do we do? And we see like snowy like there's like a grenade, <laughs> and there's like <laughs> some other grenades. So yeah, he probably punched it up. So it was supposed to explode. But, <laughs> yeah, snowy's so- like something <laughs> must have frightened him. You fools! I'm so scary. <laughs> yeah. So Timson and Thompson is like uh, ah. Let's run away. See what you sign, uh, Tintin. You probably die. Not that problem. Uh, and they're like, what? He didn't die. It didn't explode. 
Uh, yeah, you didn't. It didn't explode. Uh, so we gotta go now, Snowy. Let's get back to Rasta Pubulus and see what he's gotten. Um, mm -hmm. And blah 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 blah. He got he got himself some new clothes, and <laughs> after and the next morning, <laughs> Timson and Thompson is like still no explosion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, should I just continue or Yeah. Okay. Um So Tintin he's like walking on this with his like uh, rifle and his water and his new clothes and snowy and um after the plan of like if we're following the route we're supposed to be at Yabeke uh, tomorrow tomorrow tomorrow, yes. Uh, so he like he like oh it's so hot in this desert. <laughs> Let me get some water. <laughs> but uh, bang bang shots. Oh no, what do we do? Not whiskey shots, but uh, actual shots. And the <laughs> <laughs> and the um, it's water. It's like it lands on the floor, and he like flees down, tending like on his stomach and chest. So mm -hmm. he yeah, um, but the water like. Flows out of the uh, of the bag thing, whatever that is, and there's like one horse guy that's like running away. So his job was to probably just uh kill him, but he thought that he died, but he didn't. F clickbait. Uh, so then he's like blah 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 blah. I'm going to walk without sand in the desert because that's a good idea. So this is like an oasis, but it's not, uh, and there's like a sign, <laughs> so I uh, uh, walk with danger, um, um, uh, how do I pronounce this? Mirage? Yeah, mirage. Uh, mirages, 100 meters. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but they're like, oh, some trees! It's, a, it's not a mirage. Uh, finally, and Snowy's like he he th he says a picture <laughs> where he's like diving, and yeah. the Stinty's like yeah it's it's not a mirage this time, and the he sees two um two heads, and he's like Timson and Thompson, <laughs> and they're like both like him him. Uh, so they're like in the name of the law, stop! But they both fall. But mm -hmm. dumb guys, they they just keep walking. And Tintin didn't get any water. Real quick, I want to say that in the version I'm reading, as they're laying on the ground, um, for dick. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, yeah, because <laughs> like. He's just, it's an expression for, like, smart aleck or, I don't know. But, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Wait, what did you say he was? Smart? Clever dick. Oh. Or smart aleck. Yeah. For me, it's just, like, smart fish. <laughs> or, like, dumb fish. So, yeah, so they're <laughs> demonetized. <laughs> so, uh, they see, oh, like, <laughs> uh, beep. Censor that. Use use that noise. Beep. Yeah, uh, I'll bleep it out. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, they uh, see this head and they suppose. Oh look, it's him. It's Tintin. And they both with their like walking rain roofs like bah! Him on the him on the head, and he's like, bruh, 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 bruh. Uh, how dare you shoot me? How dare you, like, punch me? Because he was just sitting, <laughs> enjoying the yeah. desert. What a weird idea to do that. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. Just a minute. <sighs> ASMR. <laughs> that sounds like... That's actually... That wa the sound of water actually sounds really satisfying. You think? I hate it. I hate that kind of ASMR. Oh god, I hear... <laughs> Okay, so Tim's and Tom's and they're like fleeing because the guy they punch is like shooting at them. That seems like really not safe. Um. 
and Tintin's like, we must continue. Um, oh no, look, uh, um, it's not a mirage. This is, I can see trees. Trees. And, and so, yeah, trees. And it must be like an oasis. They run over and I water. <laughs> and they see a city. Uh, um, and let, let's pray it's not, it's not like a movie set. Because like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there's like a bunch of people like fleeing into the city. And, um. Do you mind if I take over here? Yeah. So Tintin like walks into town. He sees like these guys. They're like rioting basically. And he's like, what's going on? And this guy hears him. He turns around. What's going on? One of our sheiks was like brutally attacked by two men of this certain tribe. And it's war. And Tintin's like, oh crap. Well, I guess this was a bad time to come into town. And this uh, military guy, he's like, hey you. Why haven't you reported to the recruiting office? And Tintin goes, what for? What do you think for, Tintin? Just <laughs> and the guy's like, "What do you mean? I'll give you what for." And then he like pushes Tintin t- into the recruiting office, and Tintin's in front of the uh, boss guy or whatever, the head of the military, or whatever. And the guy who like brought him is like, "This guy thinks he's like whatever," and he's like, "This guy refused to enlist." And the guy's like, "Oh well." We'll just have to teach him a lesson. Isn't it weird that they don't require any, like, uh, social security number, any name, and like, they're just, yoink, you're now my, you're now in our army. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Imagine, like, the, like, <laughs> uh, British uh, queen. You there! <laughs> what? <laughs> I am the queen of, uh, I'm the queen of Britain. Nope. <laughs> you're going to war. <laughs> just go up to someone, you're going to war now. <laughs> And they're like, <laughs> yoink. He's <laughs> so, you know. So you see, like, Tintin, he's marching with the others, and uh, the guy gives the order to, like, he's like, oh, that's enough for today. Um, And he's, like, calling Ali, bye, and Tintin's like, oh, some poor sucker's in trouble or whatever. And then he realizes it's him. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like, Hey, when I call you, you better like pay attention or whatever. And Tintin's like uh, confined to the barracks to clean up the colonel's office or whatever. Stupid idiot! How could I have forgot I gave the name Ali by when I enlisted? Which... For for me, his name is just Bebe. <laughs> like B E H dot B E H R Bebe. We should call it in b- 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 from, from now on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also yeah. Uh, the surgeon, he's like four days in prison. But yeah, instead of uh, cleaning the uh, barracks. It's like he's confined to the barracks and then orders Tintin to clean the colonel's office. Oh. Hmm. So. I think it's funny that Tintin's just talking to himself and he just calls himself a stupid idiot. Like. <laughs> For some reason. We should make that as a quote. How could I forget? <laughs> How could I forget I called myself Bubba? <laughs> That's the video description. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. Anyways, Tintin's like cleaning the colonel's office and he finds the band from the cigars he found earlier. And he's like, great snakes, the cigars of the pharaoh, the pharaoh with the identical band. And he's like, it's fantastic. And he goes looking for a whole box of them. Finds it, like, the colonel walks in and Ooh. sees him, and it's like, it's a spy, call out the guard, and they arrest him. And he's like, oh, well, just my luck, I guess. Sends him to uh, the firing squad, and he's like, oh, crap, my poor Snowy. He's more concerned about Snowy, because he... He his exact words are shoot, I'm going to be shot. My poor Snowy, this is the end. <laughs> he said yeah, so, to Snowy after he's like, Oh man, I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> yeah. After he like is talking to himself, he's like, I'm gonna be shot and then his next thought is of his dog. <laughs> I guess, but anyways. 
he's like sitting in his prison cell and so when and when it hits him in the head um we should have a counter for the times Tintin gets hit in the head by the way yeah so <laughs> yeah so so many plans I know so uh tied to the rock was a note that says have courage help is at hand and it signed a friend and I guess I'm dying unless that friend shows up and they do and they give him like a file to cut through the bars doing this and he eventually does get the bars loose helping him they're like hey come quick and Tintin jumps out the window the moment his feet touch the ground the guards are like halt they're all fire and he's caught again (laughs) wow yep yeah I know (laughs) that's pretty sad about luck he has just poor luck I guess but um post and you see them like taking aim and then you hear gunfire and snow is like Tintin and he runs through town like crying and and they've killed him and stuff and you see the general guy whatever he's like him and knowing the he's like writing a letter to the boss right he's like I know how much you want him to disappear so I arranged for him to be he's dead now and you see on Tintin's grave, he's like crying. And it actually is like really sad. Yeah. Cause, it's like, so sad. I know. Yeah. Top 10 most sad. Top 10 sad as <laughs> anime endings. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, yeah. Tintin, like, he got like this uh, wooden, like, wooden, like, plaque or whatever it is. <laughs> like, wooden, like, they like, with. Bah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's his, uh, just his Baba and Spy but the grave right next to him uh, uh, that's like I do not speak that but there's like a moon isn't that weird so somehow they know that they know people's religion and they had to do that Judaism like, no is it no it's Islam Oh, oh my God! Yeah, someone of probably course. got a, someone's got a, gonna get offended by this. I'm yeah, so well, sorry. We didn't say anything <laughs> offensive. No, so. pure observation. <laughs> <laughs> so it's that night. You see this guy knocking on a door. And opens it, and the person who knocked, he's like, "Hey, everything's arranged, and you can go there now." So the person who opened opens the door is like, "Good. Here's your reward. Keep your mouth shut if you value your life." And so a few minutes later, you see the guy who knocked, or the guy who opened the door, sorry. He's, like, walking through the night with a shovel to Tintin's grave. And he's like, this is the spot now to get work. And he starts trying to shovel, but Snowy starts, like, barking at him. Bark, bark. Like, you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baby, I guess. <laughs> we should make, like, a role play. Melka, you'll be, uh, you'll be person to the left. I'll be another person. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one? Yeah, uh, just <laughs> okay. I'll just okay. I'll be the person to the left, and you'll always be uh, the quote friend. So everyone is with us here. So like everything went well uh, uh, after the plan. You can now go over there. Uh, good. Here is your reward. Keep your mouth shut if you value your life. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> Climb, 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 climb. <laughs> Go on. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's me. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, wait. it is. Ask- yeah. This is the spot. Now to work. Exclamation mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and then... <laughs> <laughs> so snowy okay so after snowy was barking she's like quiet i've come to save your master my master, so like, my master. yeah are you do you want to be snowy yeah i'm just or- you you're that guy okay. and i'm everyone T- else then, okay tintin tintin are you there yes <laughs> <laughs> mrs okay. you have saved my life i will never come <laughs> 
Where? <laughs> You'll never know. Where? Follow me. Here we are. Oh, <laughs> faster. <laughs> Okay, uh, okay, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Maga, it just, we will not never do this again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the guy, like, digs up Tintin, because he had, it was like a fake or whatever, he has like an air hole in the coffin, he's fine. So he gets dug out, breaks out of the coffin, and he goes with the person he, like, dug him up. Like, oh, thank you so much. Um... For the execution, the sergeant sergeant told me the rifles would be loaded with blanks, and he says that he collapsed when he was supposed to, and blah blah blah. For saving my life, but who are you, and why did you rescue me? And surprise, it's Tim and Tom. Tim and Tom, and back at it. <laughs> oh my god! When this was revealed, I was like, "What the hell?" Because like they're supposed to be dumb, but they like planned all. The elaborate stuff out to save they probably did. didn't it was probably right. just like interpol like if you do this then you will oh, win yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah probably interpol helped him out yeah so he's like yeah they're like yeah it's us um and they're like we know like you are gonna be executed but we'll let you die over our dead bodies because we have a job to do so they basically saved him because they still want to arrest him <laughs> Yeah, so isn't it weird that Interpol, they can work in that country, but they cannot take back, uh, they cannot take back civilians that are not supposed to die. I think what it was is that, um, he was already going to be executed, so they weren't going to do anything, but Tim and Tom just so badly wanted to arrest him that they broke him out, which they probably weren't supposed to do. I think they're, so. like, making police work illegal. Illegally. Yeah. That was probably illegal, but we're gonna brush past that. Yeah. So. Everything can so be illegal like, in our world. Yeah. So they hear, like, someone knocking on the door, and they're like, what is it? It's a grave digger, and he's like, uh, we're betraying the soldiers are coming. And you see, like, soldiers coming down, they're like, that's the house, break down the door! <laughs> Bashing it open and they like fall. There's over so many. I know. It looks a bit like um from that scene uh, with Tintin in the Congos where he like shoots uh, the um the um those uh, 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 things was like there's like fifty two of them, so he has like fifty two dead of those whatever they're called. Hmm. <laughs> Um, the, yeah, I know what you're talking about. The stags or whatever that he kept. Yeah, but like, what what are they? What are they, what are they called? Uh, stags. Yeah. Yeah, like the animal. What know. is that called? Deer. Yeah, deer. I whatever. Okay. okay. Should, uh, may I continue? So, may I go now? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> So Tintin, he like uh, they all like um, uh, Timson and Thompson and the guy with the graveyard. He they like uh, all run um, and take the ladder with them. They like run on the roof, but Tintin he hides behind a coat in the um, in the main room that they ran into that they didn't search some somehow. Um, uh, so he runs runs out, runs out. That's not how you talk. They, he runs out. And he stumbled in the the uh, sergeant, or general, or whoever that was. And he's like, oh, this is Tintin, we will, we will, we will kill the spy. Uh, death to the spy. And Tintin, like, runs out to, like, the uh, flying area. And uh, sees, like, a, a plane. A B plane. Uh, not an and B plane, but A B, as in, yeah. And he's like, uh, what do I do? There's a guard. Uh, watch out. The, the dog's crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> get away. The dog has like uh, craziness. And so he's like, oh, I'm not crazy. Couldn't he, couldn't he just have shot it since he had a gun? He could, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, oh, he fell for it. And Tintin like, takes the plane. The uh, pretty good, pretty good, yes. Pretty cool uh, yellow plane, actually. And mm -hmm. he's like flies off like 
We we woo. We took it. And search in this like uh, oof. Big oof. Um <laughs> Uh, what do we do now? Send the uh, send the, uh, the fly force, flying force. Send the planes up. <coughs> um, <laughs> fly force. Air force. Air force. <laughs> fly force. <laughs> and don't worry, the fly force is catch here. <laughs> Rain roof and fly force. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, they're like the two planes are like oh. Uh, the dot right there uh, on the horizon. Uh, uh, and they're like, oh, he hasn't uh, seen us, blah, 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 blah. And Tintin's like, oh, life is great, Snowy. Oh, no. It's the every big uh, fly force with their rain, with their rain, rain roofs. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, no, uh, Tintin's going down. That was easy. Hey, <laughs> that was easy. We got Tintin. Mission accomplished. Uh, oh, General. Good job. Nice one. But Tintin's plane is still in there. Oh no! It was a normal like maneuver. Uh, they thought I went down, but I went down into the sky, so they couldn't see me. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. We gotta, but he also says like we gotta land somewhere. The plane that hasn't doesn't have much uh, fuel left, but it's like <laughs> going down because they 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 it's like empty. Eh, uh, wow! What do we do? There's trees. Uh, a lot less like a lot of trees. We can't land anywhere. We're going down. Oh no! Ah, watch out, Snowy. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Reenactment. Yeah, so uh, the uh, plane crashes down. And they... Uh, psh, whoosh, and snow and tension falls out. Like, yeah. Uh, lands on the ground. It hasn't broken anything. That's the second... I'm um, keeping track. That's the second time... Tinin has probably broken his butt. So it's like a med kit falls in his head and he says, Now another we just need. The... <laughs> That's we... another one for the kid on the head counter. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we just need your manual. And then, quote, the little, um, the little uh, medical book. And that's like a soap, like the biggest book ever. That's like the Bible times 40. <laughs> it says home doctor. And also that's a third oh. one for the counter. Just <laughs> keeping track. Oh, oh yeah, actually. Wait. What do you mean? Uh, so when he got hit over the head with something. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh no, I thought about him. Um, we were going to keep track of how many times he's probably broken his butt. We're doing both. Yeah, okay, yeah. We we're doing both. So Tintin's like, ah oh. Um was that everything from the plane that fell out? And he like boop 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 walks. Uh, uh we're in India. Uh we no we're probably in India and he sees an elephant. Oh no. Take it easy, old friend. Um uh, yeah. Uh Snowy doesn't hurt up even a like, fly. Or cat, actually. And he says, like, oh, you're very sick. Uh, Mr. Elephant, you have fever. I'm going to uh, find something you can eat. Um, <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. Just the awkward silence. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, um... Yeah, kind of like I have so much spit. It's actually horrible. Yeah, so Tintin's like, eh, the like animal has to eat some kinin. I do hmm? not know what that is. Kinin. Oh. Yeah. So you find a tube. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> just gonna say I don't know what that is either. Oh okay. But, um. What if it's pronounced Queenine? 
So Maeve's just... <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay, so he, like, gives that, like, rod to the ele- Mr. Elephant. Yeah, that's Mr. E, because that sounds gangster. So he's like, yeah, Mr. E uh, kidnaps Tintin, like, on his, like, snout, or whatever that is. Trunk. Trunk, yeah. Words. And he, like, picks him up, so he, like, sits on his trunk. And he, like, it's, like, the new form of taxi. Taxiing. So he gets, um... Considering the last taxi he got, and this one is an improvement. Good point. (laughs) Definitely. Yeah. Um, uh, but the so like the Mister E carries um, uh, Mister Tintin to like a big like group of elephants and says, "Bruh, Trot, the little human has helped me, and uh, um, my pro- <laughs> has helped me on Ele Ele Fantastic." <laughs> <laughs> my day is has a good good form of humor. Uh, and then it's like, oh, it seems that they cannot, they can't see me anymore. Um, but my day is like, you stop, stop, little friend. You are now a doctor. <laughs> He's the <dubbed> elephant doctor. <laughs> Put that on your resume. 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 <laughs> Yeah, uh, so uh, a couple of day, days later, Tintin's like, you wondering what I'm doing? Uh, uh, I have, I have not, uh, I have observed the ele- Mr. E and his family that the only noises that the elephants make are just uh, the same noises that the trumpet makes. So he will make a trumpet with just... Out of wood and by a knife. Probably pretty hard to make a trumpet out of wood with just a knife. How would he make, like, a tube? Yeah. In Soviets, he carved um, propellers from this dinky little knife for the entire tree. Point- so. <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Uh, Entirely out of the realm of possibility for him, I guess. Yeah. So Tim is like, blah, 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 blah. I can now communicate with them. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, the elephant language isn't that hard uh, just G, A, H and C means yes and C, H, A, G means no and to get something to drink means G, G, F, F we now have to speak like that guys hey um hey Mecca do you like uh, potatoes Oh, <laughs> unlike Tintin, I'm not versed in elephant very well, so I apologize <laughs> if I don't respond. Okay, I'm, elephant. I'm going to say it for you. Gas. <laughs> toot, uh, toot, yeah, toot. <laughs> uh, so Tintin like goes up to this elephant, like con- confronts it, like, hello. <laughs> Do 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 do, and but the elephants get him uh, something to drink, and a possible meme format here. Uh, I can now talk elephant language. <laughs> <laughs> and so Tintin like takes a bath. Uh, and this is like <laughs> t- top ten most and an- brutal anime weapons. Number ten, <laughs> t- Tintin's wow, trumpet, so- <laughs> elephant trumpet. <laughs> Okay, so ripped. So, yeah. So Tintin like goes on in the jungle and he's like do 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 boo boo do do and sees like on the trees, um what kick what was uh, the pharaoh actually called? Ki- kiosk. Kiosk. Uh kiosk like symbol. That symbol. Uh, mm-hmm. like written on the trees. On so many trees. And uh and he follows the lead and Guess who? It's Phil! Oh. Without pants! <laughs> <laughs> and Tintin's like, Oh, Mr. Phil, it's so nice to see you! Um, um, shh, not so loud, Mr. Tintin. Uh, 
You must uh, hold the secret. Okay, let me hear, uh, Mr. Phil. <laughs> and he shouts, Fine! I am Ramses the second! <laughs> Ramses. Yeah. Ramses. Ramesses, I think. Ramesses or something. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, just like he said something like completely weird. Um. Uh, but you cannot tell them I'm here in incognito mode. Uh, <laughs> uh, he. Oh, Tim's like, oh, what? Poor. Poor Phil. Uh, he's gone crazy. What do I do? I mean, it's simple. Uh, <laughs> so he like. Bloop bloop, and but Phil is like, you're so good at playing the piano, <laughs> my boy. <laughs> it, yeah. Okay, so the uh, Mister E, the elephant, he's like, what does the little human now want? Uh, uh, take us to the place to the with the white men. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, I uh he, uh, he actually says, "Take us to a place with white men." <laughs> In my village. version, it just says, "Can you take us to the village?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. So um, yeah. So Tintin and Doc, Mister E, they're like walking. Remember Mr. E's an elephant, and Phil is like sitting on its back, uh, Mr. E's back, and he's like, <laughs> Hello, hello, my dearest, c'est so triste. <laughs> so, like, there's no, there's no one. He's just like sitting on its, oh. its back, like, Hello, my dear, c'est so triste. <laughs> With like, creating him. There's no one. Yep, yeah, so he's, yeah. Eh. Uh, so then he's like, oh, there, look, there's a bungalow. Whatever that is. And we see this, like, this guy, like, smoking. Uh, good evening. Uh, sorry, I'm disturbing you. Blah, 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 blah. I found this. I found Phil. He's called Phil. In the jungle, and he's pretty crazy. Um, uh, do we have, is, is there a doctor? Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Finney. He's on um, a route, and he'll I'll get him as soon as possible. And Doctor Phil like draws this uh, the kiosk <laughs> sign. Doctor like, Phil. Wait, <laughs> that's not Doctor. Gosh dang it! <laughs> that's not Doctor Phil. <laughs> well, Dr. I mean, he is a doctor. Good so. point. <laughs> Depends. So he is Doctor Phil. And he's like, look, our symbol. It's a Tintin. Uh, so a couple. Uh, no, no, it was it was someone else. Like they're like, oh, that's our symbol, and it's like think? some mysterious person. Well, had walked away, and he wasn't like talking to attention. Mm-hmm. So it was like this other person, and they're like, hey, that's our symbol. You and sure? So, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Doctor Finney, the doctor, he's like, oh, that's how that's how it's like. Everything is like uh, connecting. And blah 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 blah. There's a hotel, ho- ho- uh, hospital, thirty miles away from here. Um, uh, the doctor is one of my friends, uh, so you can take him there tomorrow. Um, so Tenzin, like he can sleep there, and he just uh, friend zones Doc Mister E the elephant, Mister mm-hmm. E the elephant, the new quote. Uh, and says like, oh, this is uh, this is the pastor. Peacock and Mrs. and Mr. Snowball and the known um, writer Slotchki. Uh, whoever that is, I do not know. And uh, Made up for the comic. Wait, we do? Oh, yeah, in this comic, yeah. Uh, but, like, if it was a uh, IRL guy, it could be. I do not know. And Tin, like, points out a weapon uh, that the. Uh, the wait, did he has does he has a name? Does he has? Um I'm not sure. Okay, let's just call him Mr. D. No, Mr. Mr. K. Because he's okay. 
Sentinel like points out a, a weapon on the wall and oh that's a funny weapon. Uh, is that a Hindu knife? Mr. F a K is like oh that's a kuta. It's like called a ox tongue. Yeah. Uh, I got it by like what's that word? Fakir. Fakir, okay. Um that said uh, the where it lands in front of the person it lands in front of is in danger. And he like with his butter hands like it falls down uh right in front of um Tintin is like oh, I'm sorry, I hope you didn't get offended by that. Uh no, not at all. And like picks up the weapon again. So yeah, that's pretty pretty weird. But the Bang the door smashes open and it's like whoa, and ah, door, and Mister K is like oh don't worry it was just the wind, eh, uh, and everyone is like ah, from the first floor second floor, and the window is open, a uh, duck at Mister Phil up uh, Phil just normal, is eh. Uh, it has run out because there was this room, yeah. Mm. And help, help! Uh, that's Mrs. Noble's voice, and she's fainting. Uh, she is fainting, <laughs> or oh, she fainted. Um, yeah. Uh, when she wakes up, she says, "Oh, a ghost! I saw a ghost. It was awful." And Tintin's like, "Oh no!" Looks on uh, Doctor Case, um, Mister Case, uh. Calendar is like, oh no, where did the, where did the, uh, what was it called actually, the kukuta? Where did it go? The kukri. I'm going to call it kuta. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So a guy like walks in, sahib, sahib, and I saw, that's a, I saw a ghost, a white ghost running in the forest. Um. <laughs> Uh, it's so weird. Uh, the ghost must have taken the the sword, the kuta. If uh, oh whatever, we we'll see tomorrow. Let's take some whiskey. Yeah, I yeah. want to mention that this guy. He's like, well, that's the first time I've heard of a ghost. Hmm. He just looks like really tired. He's like, well, might as well, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes. Um so Dr. K is like, oh, the young man, uh he went into a dunk jungle here in just a few hours ago. So Tintin's like mm-hmm. clearly like hunting down um uh, Dr. Phil <laughs> to copy strike us. So um he sees his head lying on the floor and it's like, oh, Look, don't I look fabulous, Snowy? But suddenly, <laughs> Phil is like, Ah, I have the cooter. You better fear me, you fool. Um, the, but he's like trying to stab him in the back. Phil is like trying to stab Tintin in the back. But his hand like gets stuck on like a branch. Or whatever or that is. But... Yeah, or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sentin is like, oh, the man's crazy, run for your lives. So they see this, like, big tree, and Sentin runs around it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Phil, he runs after him too. But Sentin catches up to Phil, and takes his uh, knife, and says, oh, my knife, my knife, my knife, says Phil. He gave me back my knife. Um, uh, you must tell me why you want to kill me. It's not me. It's the eyes. Eyes? What What kind of eyes? The eyes. What kind of eyes? Yes, I remember. I can see your eyes, my loved one. So he just goes on to singing. He so- says, in my version, he says two lovely black eyes. Oh, all of that, yeah. Sponsored by Coca-Cola. It's not. <laughs> no, we're not. 
So then it's like um, uh, uh, Ramses the second uh, return to the eyes. Go on, march on, and I'll follow him Looking on a distance. Like child. Yeah, <laughs> go on. He looks like so like follow me. Follow. <laughs> yeah. So he's like I'm going to follow him, uh, but on a distant distance. Uh, so Phil is like, oh, the eyes, and a fakir pops up. Is Tintin dead? <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> but he's like, Phil is like, no, he's not dead. I couldn't kill him. Stupid man. Uh, stu- if I'm not- what? The what he says in my comic is, no, he didn't want me to kill him. <laughs> no, wait, he he actually says that here, too. Yeah. yeah. So then it's like he pops up and he's like, hands up with his pistol. And he's like, oh no, the eyes. Because like the fake here is like looking at him. And it's like, oh no, the eyes. And like he like waves his arms. Like, woo. <laughs> so then he like falls over and faints. <laughs> and but Phil, he like takes his gun, bang, shoots him. Not, wait, not shoot, don't sh- he doesn't shoot him. But he um he shoots like <laughs> up in the air and shoots a branch so the coconut falls down in the fakir's head. <laughs> so he's like, Oh, this is fun <laughs> Bang bang pluff pluff make bang bang noises again. <laughs> he like keeps on shooting. Uh like with yeah, real gun. Up oh, kill the butterflies. No more Bang bang, pluff pluff, because like the magazine like it was empty. Yeah, so uh, the fakirs disappeared. Let's go back to a uh, um. Let's go back to the uh, uh, Doctor Kate's house. Um. Over here. What? Yep. Here. Yep. Yep. Okay. Goku wants to. I feel like I'm pretty bad at doing that. <laughs> no, whatever. <laughs> Do it. Now you can go. Do it! <laughs> so they, peer pressure, peer they pressure. pressure. <laughs> make Milko do it if she doesn't want to. <laughs> so, Wooly. Yeah, so uh, it's. A- Should I just go on? Yeah, just go. So it's a few minutes later, and Tintin's like telling the. He's like, You need to tell me what's going on because someone just tried to kill me, and he mentioned you. The poet, he's like, Me? I don't understand. Tintin pulls his gun, he's like, You're lying, you better talk fast. And Phil puts in, Or else. So, like, the poet, he like freaks out, he's like, Yeah, 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 sure, I know. He says, like, there's an inter- international gang of drug smugglers, and they're determined to get ri- rid of you. And you're a member of the gang. And he's like, yes, no. What's that one name? We should... <laughs> yes, but <laughs> well, actually Well, yes, no. but actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's an organization of the branch here, and you were recognized, and someone reported it to the boss. Who's the boss, then? And the poet's like, well tell you because then they'll like kill me or whatever and so tell me anyways and this guy he's like you need to tell me right now and so the poet's like about to tell him but suddenly he gets hit in the neck with a dart (laughs) triple strike (laughs) yeah to the window and the poet, he's like, it's too late, I'm done for. It's their revenge, the arrow's poisoned. And he says it's like poison with raja, ja, juice or whatever. Rad, poison raja, but raja, yeah. 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 He's like, the boss, film, don't trust. And then he starts singing. And <laughs> can't tell attention anymore. And there's a brief exchange between the poet and Phil. Nonsense. They're crazy. So, 
later, Tintin um, is talking to... Wait, just like... Uh, Phil is like... <laughs> because like uh, the guy, Flutschke, he's like... He's like starts singing, singing and Phil is like, Yes, my dear children, the, the break is now over. <laughs> <laughs> and Phil is like, can you now? Can someone tell me who was the uh, who is the uh, who successor? Yeah, who's who? Yeah, who follows uh, Ramses the second? And Slushki's like, me, 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 uh, Mister Mr. Teacher, Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> He's Napoleon now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like talking to the people who's in the house. He's like, now we have two crazy people on our hand. And the guy's like, don't worry, we'll send him to the hospital tomorrow. And he gives Tintin a letter for the superintendent, who's like his friend. Like, drive down to the hospital. And the fakir, he's like, oh, they're off to the hospital. With that letter, they'll certainly get a warm welcome. (laughs) And they get there, and (laughs) Tintin gives superintendent the letter from dr finney and he's like oh yeah it's about these two patients and the doc or er, the superintendent reads it and he's like hmm yes i see quite mm, yes. yes he has he says to the orderlies he's like take care of these gentlemen he's talking about like you know, and then he turns to tintin he's like hey will you come with me it's just a few formalities and tintin's like yeah sure uh, they're like walking through the yard there's one guy who's on all fours with a flower pot in his head he's barking at Sidoni <laughs> in a Napoleon pose sitting on his back and there's also a guy with a rain roof yeah in the background. <laughs> with the rain roof yeah rain roofs make a, like, like a lot of appearances in this book yeah yeah, and in the background, there's also a guy that's watering a head. So I think that's the guy that's <laughs> barking at Snowy. He like he took his pl- uh, pot, <laughs> not that kind of pot, but he's actually pot with a flower. Yeah, so they're like walking through the yard, and the superintendent's like, "No, don't worry, they're harmless." And he shows Tintin this room. He's like, "This is the kind of room your friends will have." And Tintin, for some reason, walks into the room. And the door slams behind him. And <laughs> the superintendent pulls out the letter and reads to himself, he will give you this letter to tell you it concerns his two companions, but he is extremely dangerous and you should trick him into entering a cell rather than force him. And it's basically like framing Tintin to look like he's crazy. So they let Phil and Napoleon go. They're like, don't worry, we'll take care of your friend. And they're like, we have complete confidence in you. And they drive away. And Phil's like, happy birthday, Nanny, as he leaves, <laughs> of course. Fakir, he's like, calling the boss. He's like, yeah, I copied uh, Finney's writing and substitute another letter so that Tintin will be, like, framed and put away. Wait, Tintin's so, like, wait so the doctor from before that actually that liter- actually wrote, wrote the letter, he, he he actually didn't write that. So it was the Fakir that wrote that, the that he uh, Tintin was crazy. Oh. So Tintin's like slamming on the door with his fist, like pounding on it. He's kicking it too. Snowy's freaking out because they allowed him. For some reason, like about mental hospitals, but I'm pretty sure they don't let you keep your dog, or they would. Oh yeah. Yeah. Searched him too, cause like he could have a knife on him or whatever, but whatever. That's like thirties, forties mental hospitals. So who cares? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Superintendent walks by and he opens like the little window into Tintin's room. He's like, "If you don't keep quiet, we're gonna put you in a straitjacket." And Tintin's like, "This is a like." the game you need to like stop because this isn't funny and he tries to explain that it's the other two that are crazy 
the superintendent isn't buying it. He's like, it's just as Dr. Finney said. He'll keep on ex- insisting that he's sane. And Tintin's like chasing. I can't believe this. And he's like super ticked off. Oh my and god, so I love these... this part after this. I know. I like the part with the soup. But anyways, um, they like bring him soup. And they're like, here's your soup. And he's like, my soup? So he's like, are you joking? He uppercuts the tray. And he's like, that's what I think of your soup. soup. <laughs> he's so pissed. It's like, well. It's really funny. Yeah. But to be fair, if I was like locked in a mental hospital like that, like, I'd be pissed too. Yeah. Yeah. So the soup like goes flying and it lands on one of the orderlies' heads. And he's like, you know, screaming because it's really hot soup. Yikes. And the other orderly is like trying to help him, like runs out. And <laughs> so the orderlies are like screaming for help. Well, he's yeah, like, in a really weird way. Yeah. I know. Ow, ow. He gets to the wall and he's like, Crikey, how can I get over that? And he's he's looking around for a way to like get over that they're after him. He's like, Great snakes, there they are. The guy's sleeping on the ground. And he's like, I've got an idea. It'll snowy to slip under the gate. And he says, uh, I'll meet you outside, don't worry. He's climbing this tree. Now he could just climb the tree. I know. To get over the wall, but we had to be as ridiculous as possible, I guess. So <laughs> Yeah, this idea like, sucks. He Just like kidding. Yeah, Sorry. no, it does suck. <laughs> so he like jumps out of the tree. He's sleeping, he bounces off his stomach and goes over the wall. That must be so hurtful. Like must hurt so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no kidding. what he cares I guess so he's like running away and they're chasing him and he gets to like there's like these train tracks right by the mental hospital for whatever reason under the train but like snowy doesn't get on no and the the hospital people they're like he gosh dang it he escaped and he's just like oh I'm safe it's like he helps snowy can follow the railway but guess what? <laughs> he gets jump scared because Tim and Tom are on the train and they pull him in. What a nice surprise to see you. They're like, we had lost you completely. And then the other one's like, to be, pre- to be precise, we had completely lost face. <laughs> and so you see Snowy and he's like, Will I ever see Tintin again? The train. And they go through like this tunnel and it's dark. And everyone's confused. And then there's a fight. I've got him and me too. And then they'll, the they pass through the tunnel. And the lights come back and they're like, oh my gosh, we just beat up the ticket collector. <laughs> collected oh, a ticket. <laughs> Tintin being lucky again. But, um, he couldn't have gone too far, so let's keep looking. One says to this, no, we aren't too far gone. Yeah. And so, the superintendent, he's, like, calling the train station. He's like, one of our patients escaped and jumped on a train, and it's heading in a direction, and I'll describe him for you. And you see train the train stopped and they're like oh someone must have pulled the communication cord and there's like this old woman cool uncool old woman and she's like oh yeah i saw that young man he tried to ask me to hide him so i pulled the alarm as soon as the train stopped he ran off he went that way and they run off in search of him (laughs) it's it's just intent and he's like have a good time lol clickbait (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Like, he's following the tracks. He's like, oh man, this track's so long. And where does it end? And he sees his cat. He's like, oh, well, I'll ask them. <laughs> and so 
Snowy like goes up to the cat and is like, hey, can you like tell me when the last train went by? And the cat's like, don't you know I'm a sacred cow? A sacred cow? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. And so also Snowy for me, Snowy calls the cow Mrs. Cow who is standing there and yeah. looking uh, at by by driving trains in one word. <laughs> yeah. What a name. So uh fight with the cow. And uh, so he like bites it. People who like own the cow, they're like, that dog is attacking our sacred cow and we have to kill it and stuff. So they tie it up and they tie Snowy up, not it. Gosh. <laughs> and Snowy looks so sad, I'm like, oh, oh. And they're basically like, oh, we'll, we'll sacrifice it on the altar of Siva. And it cuts to like an hour later, it's with Tintin. Thinking about how he's going to get off the platform without a ticket. He's like eating a banana too. And the <laughs> like guards, like, oh yeah, that's the guy who matches the description from the mental hospital. And they're walking towards him. He's like, what do they want with me? And they're like, oh, I get it. Escape has been reported. And they're like running after him. He's like, lucky for me, I bought some banana. I actually uses the banana peel to trip him up. Wow, so convenient that he has a banana. Wait, so yeah, he uses every single peel. Doesn't that use the smart. he doesn't use the entire. That's actually a pretty good idea. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Mm-hmm. So like this guy trips on a banana peel, or two of them do, I think. Yeah. And this one guy, he's like, just wait, clever dick, we'll pay you back. <laughs> and he picks up, <laughs> picks up one of the peels that Tintin threw and throws it at Tintin. And Tintin trips. And so they put him in a straight jacket and they're um carrying him away. Well, it cuts back to Snowy and he's about to like be murdered. And then it cuts back to Tintin <laughs> for some reason. He's like a hospital truck. And they're like driving along the road. And then this other car comes and crashes into them. It's Phil and um Napoleon. Uh, Napoleon, by the way. <laughs> Tintin goes flying. That's lucky. And he's like running through the forest. And then he gets his uh around his ankle and he's like hanging from a tree. And to Snowy and they're like, Duh, you stupid dog. But suddenly there's a voice from the statue and they're like, mm. We will not accept this sacrifice. So everyone runs away and surprise, it's Tim and Tom, and they were just <laughs> messing with the guys. Hmm. They'll uh Snowy's like, oh well, I guess they're pretty good dudes. And they use Snowy to like track down Tintin. Well, it cuts back to Tintin side of the story. And there's like this elephant that's like carrying these two people. <gasps> it's Misty! <laughs> yes! Scary. The, yep. These people are like, hey, look! And they're like, uh, our tiger trap caught a young man. And they're like, oh. Our Tintin's like, by the way, would you mind like in taking off the street jacket? And they're like, of course, because if you see a strange man in the jungle with a <laughs> Great jacket. You're, you're obviously gonna take it off. So <laughs> it's like, oh, how can I thank you enough? And the guy uh, introduces himself as the Maharaja of Guy Pajama. And wait, how do you pronounce this so fast? No. Skills. Ma- For me, it's Rahad Putala. Well, I can say it pretty fast because I heard how it was said in the cartoon. Oh, and I like, see. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go on their way and um, steering the elephant because he doesn't drive it. <laughs> That's not the correct <laughs> term, but he's like, look steering on the elephant. branch, it's the tiger. Raja, like, shoots it, but he misses. And so the tiger, like, lands in their basket. Puts it in a straight jacket and it's like, there's your tiger. And they're like, cool, let's, let's go back to my palace. 
and he invites Tintin to be his guest and his uh, he introduces himself as Tintin the reporter that evening and they hear like this music so the Maharaja he's like that music and he goes to the window but doesn't see anyone the guy's like Tintin I have to tell you my tragic backstory now Uh and he says my father and my brother both went crazy one after the other after they heard this music so he's like this time I'm sure it's for me and Tintin like remembers one guy said Rajaja juice the poison of madness and so Tintin's like hey Maharaja when your father and brother went mad was there any sign of like a wound or a puncture wound or that stuff and he goes no nothing why okay well were they like trying to fight drug smuggling she's like yeah sure and he says I continue their struggle um uh, copy from that what? the opium is made from is is in the region, and the drug traffickers like terrorize the people and like force them to grow it, like food for themselves. It's just the poppies. Um, Tintin's like, okay, well, let's work together, and he like tells him his plan, and so that night, it's a fakir, and he's like talking to this guy, and the guy's like, you see that window in the middle? Fakir, like, uses this magic rope to climb up to the guy's window, and he shoots a poison dart. Oh, no! That's probably, like, one of the weirdest things in, like, this entire series. Like, that rope. That is so weird. I disagree with you on that being the weirdest thing in the series, considering (laughs) some of the later stuff. (laughs) But, um... Yeah. So, the Fakir's like, oh, well, that's the last of them. King. You know, he's, like, leaving. And Tintin has, like, this stick hey. on the corner. He's like, when he comes, I'm gonna hit him. But he doesn't come. And so Tintin's like, where did he go? And he goes up to the tree. He's like, is he hiding in the tree? And he goes, in the tree? And it's hollow. <laughs> so he's like, okay, well, now I just gotta figure out how to open it. And so he does like this ladder that goes down and it's like this basement area and there's this door that's open going from it and stuff. So he's like, oh, I need to be careful. Someone's coming. And he sees this person in like, oh God, this is going to be hard to explain. <laughs> um... But it's like this person, he has like a sack over his head. It's purple. And then there's like this robe he's wearing and it's also purple and it has the yeah, Simple so you might have. It. Can I just say this real quick? It looks like a KKK. <laughs> uh, oh, it uh, is. Yeah, but in purple. Yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> so Tintin like sees this person like knock on a door at the end of the hallway. It's coming, but as that person passes by, he goes yoink and pulls the guy into the room, beats <laughs> him up, and takes his clothes to the meeting of these people he's like holy crap and so the meeting starts and it's like okay well with the exception of our leader um, everyone's here and he's like you know this guy will speak first and the guy's like okay well the best news that we have is Maharaja of Guy Pajama is going crazy and he's like no there's nothing left to and then he gets cut off the so phone's ringing. And, um, uh, they get a message from headquarters. In- from, from Cairo, yeah. Yeah. And he, the guy's like, what? And he turns to the other guys, and he's like, our oh, hideout was just raided, and only our leader has escaped, and he's coming here by air. And so, so get the news that they found one of the people, like, knocked out. And they're like, we have a spy in our midst! And the rules say we can't uncover our faces. Um, 
you guys will like come one by one and give me the password and whoever fails so they're all coming up and whispering it like i'm sorry but i can't remember and they're like huh well i'll give you to the count of three and if you don't have it by then i kill you so the guy's like freaking out wait i got it i remember and he like shouts out kiosk and guy pajama and the guy's like you idiot you're supposed to whisper now everybody knows <laughs> mind um and he's like i'm going to go into the next room and you'll come in one by one and give me the password from our last meeting so he calls everyone in tells the last person and the last person's called in and boom he's hit over the head but he's like well i'm glad i was the first to be called hmm. and he says he says here is now let's have a look at the faces of our jungle coot Ku Klux Klan, and it's like, oh my gosh. So Tintin like unmasks everybody. He's like, it's the Fakir, a Japanese, Mr. Miss Snowball, and the Colonel who sent sentenced me to death, and the Maharaja's secretary wakes up from being hit over the head. He's like, Tintin, it's, it's him. He's here. What an idiot thinking he can tie me up. Me, a, a fully qualified Fakir. And Tintin's like, oh crap, he escaped! And he goes, great snakes, I can't let him get away! Like, swings open. The f Fakir, like, hits him with the door. Knocked down. The Fakir's like, now I really have you in my power. And he goes to pick up the gun. But Tintin, like, kicks his hand. Like, he says, yoink! But <laughs> <laughs> yoink! Yoink! Ow. Yoke. <laughs> so, um, the guy, the fakir, he's like jumping around, like, "Oh, my hand! It hurts so bad!" <laughs> and he gets up and he pulls out his gun, and then the door swings open again, and it hits the fakir in the back of the head, and it's Tim and Tom, and they're like, "Hands up!" And Snowy's there too, so Tintin gets a reunion with with him. You brought off a masterly coup, and he's like. D don't you want to arrest me anymore? Because I guess he wants to be arrested by them. Um, <laughs> oh my guess. He's like, no, we know you're innocent now because you got a call from the Cairo police and they found, uh, you know, the gang of drug smugglers using the tomb of the Pharaoh of Kiosk. And they're like, we found papers. And it's like, um, a list of the enemies of the drug smugglers, and it had Tintin, the Maharaja, and it also had like a plan of where they are now. Oh, well, once we heard about it, we came here, and it's like, so this is where we are. Be precise. So, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> They're great. Oh my god, yeah, they are. <laughs> They're the best. The, the the to be precise thing wasn't like around when they first appeared, but then like it became a thing on the train, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. So the Maharaja, he's like, thanks, Tintin, I owe you my life because my bed took the arrow for, for me. Like the door closing, and it's like, oh, the Fakir, he's escaped us again. Because they can't, like, oh, put him in handcuffs before doing all this talking. Oh my god, I can't. I can't imagine. <laughs> it's because, okay, every time someone says Fakir, I'm like, oh, F-word? <laughs> I know! <laughs> yeah, anyways, just continue. I'm just like, oh, that stu that wretched fellow, he locked us in. He goes, oh, I have a skeleton key, don't <laughs> worry. Because of course... He just says, I have a skeleton. I know. But I just wanted to clarify that he meant a skeleton key. Yeah. <laughs> he just he pulls a full skeleton out of his pocket. <laughs> Don't worry, this will get the door open. And he pulls yeah. his skin out and he's a skeleton. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. that was violent. That was gory. No, it's fine. Don't worry. So... Tenten's like, oh, well, by the time we get the door open, he's going to be, like, miles away. So there's no use, like, chasing after him. So they go back to the palace of the Maharaja. 
they're, they're there. And this guy, like, it's a servant guy. He's like, oh, your highness, the crown prince, your son was just kidnapped. And two guys, they made off with him in the car. It's like, quick, let's go to the garage. They haven't got much of a start. So they get in, like, this car that's in the garage. Oh, hang on tight, you guys. Because Tim and Tom are, like, in the back. They're just, like, not even in a seat. <laughs> and Tim, like, takes off and they fall out. <laughs> hang like, on no. tight. <laughs> yeah. He's... After they fall out, he, get, he goes, don't fall off, you two. This is going to be rough. <laughs> <laughs> so. And Tim, like, catches up to the guys. And like, there they are! And the Fakir, he's like, free! And the boss is like, the car's not gonna go any faster. And Tintin's catching up. And then he sees smoke, and he's like, what happened? Then he pulls over, he sees, like, the car has, like, crashed, gone over the side. And he's like, oh man, those poor guys, they must have, like, skidded on the corner. And the Fakir, and they're, like, looking down at him. And they're like, as soon as he climbs down to have a look, we get in his car and get going. He's like, well, suppose this is just a trap. He's like, uh, pacing by his car. Oh, well, he's not going down. So we'll just, we, and they're like, we had to go soon. So they shoot at him. Looks behind the car. And he's like, oh, those gangsters. It's a good thing I wasn't tricked. So. The boss is like, oh, it's impossible to get him. And he takes the prince and tells the fakir, like, you keep him occupied. I'll make a break for it with the kid. The fakir's like, oh, I can't see him. Where'd he go? <laughs> and then he appears. Like, he hands appears up like, Houdini. He calls him Houdini. Hands up, Houdini. <laughs> and drop your gun. He's like above the fakir. So Tintin's holding him at gunpoint, and he's like, eh, that's better. And then he tells the guy that his gun wasn't loaded. Why, why would he tell him that now? I know, like, you have him at yeah. gunpoint, and you're just gonna be like, by what the way, I'll throw that ball. <laughs> this is a Dollarama gun. Yeah, so the Fakir's like, oh, well, my gun's empty, too of us now and as the boss is climbing he like his foot knocks loose a rock and it hits the fakir on the head and it's like oh it's like i couldn't have done it better myself <laughs> and he leaves snowy to guard him while he goes after the boss the boss like sees Tintin climbing after him he's like oh i can't get rid of this guy so to like be in a certain spot and he like pushes a rock crush him and Tintin's like oh help but the rock misses him oh, crap I missed but I'm not done yet but the <laughs> rock that he's standing on collapses and he like falls off well I guess he's dead I'm wondering who he was guess we'll never know Tintin finds the prince and they go back to the palace and he reunites the prince with the Maharaja if you'll excuse me, your highness, I have to say goodbye and start going home. And he's like, no, no, Tintin, I don't want you to go. It's the prince saying this. Haraj is like, yeah, you should just stay a couple days at most. You know what? I guess I'll stay. I'll be delighted to. And the prince is happy. And you see... It's like, oh, the this drunk gang was, like, busted and royal hostage freed and is basically and <laughs> yeah <laughs> later and Tintin's like in this parade with the Maharaja they're like on elephants it's all grand and wonderful and stuff and they hear someone shouting from the crowd long live Ramses the <laughs> second guys shouting and it's Phil um, Napoleon and Tintin's like oh yeah by the way, could you have those two brought to the palace? Because they're like crazy and they need help. They need help. Yeah. He's like, oh, by the way, they need help. <laughs> so he forgot about them. They're bringing them into the palace just because they need help. I mean, just because they're crazy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Well, okay. So it's later that day, and Tintin's like, oh, yeah, they're still crazy. <laughs> um, The Maharaj is like, oh, bring cigars and drinks for these guys. Um, it was Napoleon. He's like, stop, remember, it's forbidden to touch the cigars of the pharaoh. Name drop. And... <laughs> And he's just like, hey, can you tell me where you found these? Oh, they belong to the Maharaja's former secretary. And I know he kept these in a way, so I, usual stuff, I brought these. And Tintin's like, just as I thought, it's the same cigars we found in the tomb of Kiosk. And he, because they're fakes. And, um, and he's like, Man, this is such a simple trick, but it fooled half the world. And the Maharaj is like, good job, Tintin, but what about those guys? Because they're still standing over there crazy. <laughs> In like a hospital van and bring them to the mental hospital. And the Maharaj is like, oh, don't worry, they'll be cared for. And you, Tintin, have earned a holiday. And so... The Maharaj is like, yeah, we saw the last of that guy, so just relax. And Tintin's like, I hope you're right, Highness. I certainly hope so. <laughs> and then he leaves it with the last line is, but somehow I wonder. Yep, and the and Obviously he's gonna he's, he jinxed it already. <laughs> <laughs> so Oh and yeah, the last panel was, was so cute. It's like Snowy's holding hands with a child. No, it's adorable. Yeah. Your guys' thoughts on it? Well, um, I don't know. I thought when I first read it, I thought it was okay. I mean, yeah. there are a lot of funny parts. Well, it's mm-hmm. actually like it's actually like the first Tintin book that really felt like a Tintin book, like all the others after it, because yeah. the last two they were just like kind of because they didn't have much um. Um, main characters in it and and then Mm -hmm. this one we got alan and uh thompson and thompson and also like recurring villains which is like a a pretty good um way of continuing characters and such the first one that kind of like uh goes over into the next one it's not just yeah goes on a one-off adventure you know yeah that's also true yeah, but then like it's the it's like a it's like appearance of like um new main characters. Mm-hmm. I guess that's what I mean. Personally, I thought it then was. Then we'll see Haddock. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty fun. You know, it wasn't yeah. one of my favorites, but it's not one of my least favorites either. It had its good parts. Yeah, I see much wrong with it, but um, it's you know. not like. It's not like special, other than it's like the first ish, first ish. Honestly, yeah. like when I first read this, I had I I fell asleep because <laughs> I don't because it was a bit boring to me. But um, but then when I was like in a better mood, I don't know. The next time I read it, I didn't fall asleep, which is good. Yeah. This. One of those. It's okay. That happened. Yeah. Like I don't. I I I see why people. It's people's. It's people's favorites. Because it has like a lot of action in it, but compared to like the future books, it's yeah. like just another one. You know. It's definitely a lot more of a simpler story compared to the later ones. You know. Yeah. That way. That wraps everything up. This has been the Tim Moore Podcast, and thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Our, our links to our social medias are in the description. Thanks for listening. Yeah.